Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We are on day four, I think, right now. You know, day one, you get in here, everything's fresh. Then, like, a few days in, a weekend, you know, things change. Um, conditions have changed a lot. It is currently in the uh, mid-20s. We slept okay. We did all right. I'll show you what's going on outside. We don't have any snow yet. No ice. There's frost everywhere. Our little creek has some ice in it. It's very frosty. Ice has appeared. You know, the first thing I like to do in the morning is get some coffee. And unfortunately, our water sources are frozen. So we got this right here. This is filtered water from the lake. So we're gonna have to get some more. We completely ran out of regular water, drinking water. As soon as that sun comes out, we're gonna be just fine. But this morning, we're just gonna chill around camp, try to warm up. This is just straight lake water that I haven't filtered yet. But it's pretty much a, a block. Let me show you our best friend at the moment. Steph made some amazing chili last night, so that partly kept us warm inside of the tent, if you know what I'm saying. But this propane tank right here, I brought this 20 pound propane, and it runs into our buddy heater system inside of here. Oh, it's warm in here. That is the savior right there. That little, little bit of warmth, been putting our boots up under the cot and the heat kind of circulates up under there dries them out and that keeps it about I don't know 50 degrees in here very doable so our leftovers is what we're going to be eating today we have cornbread oh my gosh y'all this stuff amazing camp cornbread and then we have chili which is not frozen, actually, babe. Really? What are we having for breakfast, honey? We are having some sausage and eggs, and I would love some coffee. <sighs> we'll get the coffee going. Don't worry. You know, everyone has kind of boarded up their cabins, and they've headed home, and this is like the last stretch. But the, the leaves and everything are, like, just now changing. It's so beautiful. I know this. We're not doing anything with water touching the hands until it is above freezing. So let's get some delicious breakfast in our system. And then Steph still hasn't caught a fish on a fly. She's caught her first trout, which is amazing, but I think we can get it done on a fly ride for her. So that is our goal for the day. I'm gonna get a fire going. Let's fill our bellies and fill our souls with outdoor greatness. Is when you know you're getting camp dialed y'all you take your cooking coals while they're heating up you put your thank you for the snot <laughs> wipe that's also how you know you're getting dialed in the wild with your with your partner the coffee's heating up on those cooking coals we're gonna pour ourselves some coffee and then the cooking coals are gonna go on some eggs sausage and cinnamon rolls how about that Ooh. steph made these cinnamon rolls the other day y'all on our Lake Life family channel. She's got the recipe and everything. Uh, I'll link that down below. Make sure you go subscribe because that's the other that's the other side of the camp. It's like her perspective and kind of camp life right here. Sausage is almost ready. I'm gonna throw in some eggs, but let's look at the crown jewel. The crown jewel, please. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes. I don't think they're quite done, but they're pretty darn close. They're getting no, I'm in 30 seconds and we're done. Fuel for the fly, the fly game. This could be your day. This could be my day. I'm gonna keep the lid on. Yeah. Just so it keeps cooking a little bit from the top. So by the time those are done, 
I think Jesus has walked into this camp and I think so too. blessed us with the most amazing breakfast meal of all time. I don't think those cinnamon rolls could get any perfect. Now they are world's best. World's best. World's best is back. Woo! Uh, like I'm, I am so mess. proud. Y'all, it doesn't get any better at camp <laughs> no. than what is happening right here. I mean, this is fantabulous at home. It is. Mm. These cinnamon rolls might be better here. Mm. Dutch oven cooking is something that we're wanting to get into a little bit. Mm -hmm. Definitely learned a lot on this trip, so. Definitely a science. If you're a subscriber to the Lake Life Family Channel and you want to see more of that, let me know in the comments right here, since we still don't have comments, over on Lake Life. And we will get more. My gosh. I want to do this more with you. <laughs> the outdoors. Jeez. It's been fun. Are you ready? Ready to catch my first trout on a fly. Awesome. I, we are in luck because I just went down to the lake. It's dead calm right now, which we haven't had. And I was trying to filter us some water. Get some water because we're, we're out here. And there were trout literally right on the bank. Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go. So you don't want to cast very far. Let's go do it. There's a lot of ripples right over here. These are all trout that are at the surface. So just make your cast out there. Kind of let it pause. And then one, two, three, pause. And then you should be able to see them come up and get it. And when they get it, when they get it, hold the line with your left hand and just pull back with this hand, like you're okay. setting up normally. But you gotta hold the line or it's not gonna tighten up on them. Okay. So if you forget all that, just grab the line <laughs> and pull like this. And okay. I'll, come, I'll come help you. Okay. Okay. Proceed. Where am I going? Me. Just go start right here on this point and then work your way okay. around. Here. Big moment right here. Big moments. Doing good with it. You don't have to get it out too far. Oh, there's one right there to your right, right off that point. Sneaky, be sneaky. Gotta get it out there a little farther. Your your line's around your leg. <laughs> Line is around the leg. If you don't see anything behind it when you bring it in, just go ahead and cast it out there a little farther. Good cast. If you can just get it out to where those ripples are. You're getting there. Getting close, you're almost there. Oh, they're right there, they're right there. They're being a little shy on the grasshopper, so we're gonna have to make a switch to a little tiny fly. And our mountain winds are just starting to pick up. Sorry, Steph, that makes it a little harder to cast. Mm. Now we got a little chop. Okay, try that. You're casting that one farther. Yeah. yeah. It's harder for me to see now. Yeah, it's not going to be floating on top. Okay. You'll still see the trout come up behind it, though. You're letting that line go too early is your problem. I can see it. Like when I come back? Or when you're going forward, you're letting the line go a little too early. It's, it's slipping, slipping through and then it's bunching up on you. You want to let it go right at the last second. Oh, you got one. You got one, babe. Babe, you got one. Pull, pull, pull. Pull with your left hand. Pull with your left hand. I'm pull pulling. I'm pulling. I'm Hold pulling. Hold the rod up high. Hold the rod up high. Oh, it's tiny. It's yeah. so oh, tiny. It's, good, it's, it's so tiny. Fish. You got a rainbow. <laughs> you got a rainbow. You got a rainbow on a fly. I got a baby. Yeah, it's a pretty one, though. All right, I guess this is what they want, right? Yeah, a little fly switch. Made it happen. So yeah, so that's how you fight them. You just pull, exactly. You see how you had your finger, your index finger yeah. on the rod right there? So just the no, 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 no. 
Keep oh, your, like this. Yes, and then you pull. Keep that index finger on the line. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Woo! I'm not sure we really need the net for this guy. <laughs> Could probably handle him just fine. Here, I'll pull him up. <laughs> First fish on a fly. That is not even what? <laughs> Six inches. They're slippery. Come back here. They're slippery. Yeah. Okay. I got him opposite. Uh, interesting technique Hold on. there. Can I can I flip? You <laughs> try to flip him. Oh god. They're like snakes. They're not like a bass. Okay. There you go, honey. <laughs> okay. Your first fish <laughs> on a fly rod. Well, I guess we're one of the same little guy. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, just get, oh, toss no. him back. Okay. Little Goodbye. minnow. You're feisty. Yep. Oh no. There he goes. Oh no. You gotta get you gotta rotate him. Give him a little rotation. No. A little happiness. There he goes. There he goes. Just gotta find his way. Bye. <laughs> okay, so that was a good one to start with That's for funny. technique wise. <laughs> but I think we can do a little better. That's fun. I wanna do that again. Rocks are tricky. Oh Yes. Got one spotted? I got one spotted. One one came up and swirled? Yeah. It was how, a big one too. how far out? Uh, ten. Ten feet? That's yeah. it? it right you gotta get him. You gotta get him. That last cast, there you go. That was oh. good right there. All these learning lessons. Yeah. That that's where you wanna have it. Because a lot of times they'll see it out there and then they'll follow it in. So you get more fish attracted the longer you get out there. She did good, y'all. I'm proud of her. Caught her first trout on a fly, even though it was teeny weeny. Good starter. It's like a little starter kit. The wind has picked up now. We got the thermals kicking in. So I think we're gonna go try to find some streams, maybe do some hiking. Nice thing about being up here this time of year, even if you don't catch anything, I mean, you're just looking at fall beauty, so. It's awesome, Steph's happy either way. But I'm glad you got our first trout. We need that good picture trout. We're just gonna have to get in the truck and go find these streams and then trek out to them. Next up, we're trying a little lake here. A little pond. A little pond. What she thinks this might be the jam. You're gonna have to really get it out there though, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, if you're not seeing anything, don't even work it. <laughs> you're working it and just sitting there looking at the fly. You know what? You're just hoping. Maybe something will come from 40 feet away. <laughs> Maybe I'll get some swimmers coming up, you know. Sometimes that slap, they like it. It sounds like something's hitting the water. It's an opportunity for a bug. <laughs> you're getting there. I'm sure there's a lot of people watching right now that have never even picked up a fly rod that are giving the thumbs up for the effort. Second cast. <laughs> okay, it can be done. Just goes to show you guys. Woohoo! Woo Just have to get it out there a little farther. Okay. I think it's a rainbow. Jumper. Well, this is a pretty setting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, little buddy. I can never hold on to these things. Beautiful rainbow. It's probably about a 14, 15 incher. Not quite as big as your first one. Let him go. Into the pond. It's good to know that some of these little ponds have trout in them though. You know, we fished the lake and we fished one pond way high up in the mountains that didn't have any trout in it. So this one does. Just gotta whip it out there a little farther. All right, let's see if I can do it. You can do it, Steph. Believe. So much pressure. Believe. There you go. You're doing it there. That's it, you had it. You had it on that third cast. So your fourth cast didn't go any farther. It was just kind of curled up. 
You gotta watch what's behind you. <laughs> now watch that big pine tree up there. Oh, you just fine. you just scoot it over. Catch. You got one of those little pine trees. <laughs> Just giving it a dangle, a little hand dangle. Hoping it's going to come out. Let me help you. I'm stuck between filming this whole thing and trying to help you cast. Right there. I love my wife, y'all. She's out here just trying, trying her heart out to get one of these trout. She's not giving up. Her little fly got torn up on that last back cast into the pines. So I'm gonna get her a, a nice fresh one. I think that'll be a little bit better for the situation. So that's actually my first trout out of um, one of these still lakes. Has no rivers coming into it. It's just basically, you know, alpine snow, water. Had a new one to the catch list. Like, what, what do I do about this right here? This is what happens. It was on your foot. <laughs> yeah, just give it a little shake. A little shake and make. <laughs> there you go. That's the angle. That's the dangle. I think you're holding the line a little too close to your body. Okay. You need to hold the line more to, to your like hips here. over here, yeah. There you go. Nice. There it was. That last oh. cast, you had it. All right, trying something new. So far we have fished a big lake, we fished a small pond, and now we're fishing a mountain stream. stream. I think it would be a sin not to fish something this beautiful. Check this out. Ooh. I feel like a true Coloradan. Even if you don't catch anything, it's pretty awesome. I know. It's like something you'd see like in a magazine. See this rock right here? It's in the middle of the stream. Yeah. The fish are going to get behind that rock because it's breaking the current. So what you have to do is kind of place yourself about right here and then cast upstream above the rock and let the lure drift down. You want me to show you? Got a lot of current right here. So you really only need to cast it out about that far. Yeah. We're gonna eat it when it comes by, or they're not. There's a little spot called an eddy, and that's where the current swirls back around. You want your fly to hit in there. It's, it's kind of tough, but you don't have to get it out as far as so you can just cast it behind. time. Right. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> Sounds easy, yeah. It's hard. I'm, I'm not even good at it. Let it drift a little bit farther. There you go. Now you want to hold your line up. Now cast it out again. Hold your line up high. Let it drift through the stream. Don't get a bite. Whip it out again. And that's it. You got to get it in that little eddy. You see that little back, back churning area? Yeah. That's where the fish is going to sit. How did that happen? Well, looks like you got a problem there, babe. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't crash it on anything. It might have been the line coming back and hitting it. Oh. So, your rod tip broke. And uh, that's the only fly rod we have. Sorry, parent. Sorry. <laughs> I think it was you, it was not me. Well, I wasn't the one holding it, but that's okay. Parrot's used to breaking everything, so I'm sure he won't care. Is that your only your only fly? That's my know? only fly rod. That so, you at least you caught one today. I did. I caught one on a fly rod, and that's probably going to be obviously the only <laughs> fish that we catch on a fly rod. So my fly fishing journey has started so small, but that gives me so much room to just keep growing from here. Maybe I can get like 16 pound, or maybe I can get like a 16 incher next time. But 
as of this trip, I think that's going to do it. How are you going to get that fly? I don't know. It's just a fly into the wind. I know why they call them flies now. Okay, obviously our, our fly fishing journey has come to an end today. And I won't be fishing with a fly rod anymore this week. But we still have some other rods and I've got some other ideas up my sleeve for fishing these streams. This is actually our first time coming to this section of the river and it looks awesome. So I'm gonna try to finagle something with my other rods and reels to catch some fish in these scenarios because it's just amazing looking. And I think there's some big fish in here. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Go ahead and smash that like button for OSG getting after it, not giving up. She went hard, she dangled until her rod broke. So just give it up in the comments for, you know, I thought she was gonna be done after like an hour, especially with the wind kicking up and it being difficult. She didn't, she kept after it. And for that, I give you all my love, sweetheart. I love you very much. I love you for many other reasons though. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe so you don't miss a single dangle out here in the great outdoors and I'll see you on the next one.